What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Modern Tales Collector Edition figure by Jack Specific. And what a huge surprise here. I think we first talked about this figure like back in September and I remember it being removed from the Entertainment Earth's website and then a few months later it's officially released now. I don't know when it got released but it's here. So let's take a look at the packaging here. So it's very similar to if you own the Modern Sonic Collector Edition figure. It's going to have the exact same type of format except we are just well just get in tails this time so at the top 14 plus customize your very own tails figure we get a nice shot of the tails figure right there the logo collector's edition you are getting your warnings down here along with the jack specific logo right there here's the top of the box we just get a top view I'm trying not to get the glare in the way but there's the logo up there here's the bottom of the packaging so you can see tails right there and then on this side we just get a picture of the tails figure Got the logo right there, Jack Specific. And then on the other side, another shot of the figure. And then you can actually see all the accessories right here. So that's pretty cool. And then come to the back, we get some information right here. So you can see uh, Bio Read right there if you guys want to pause and read. Uh, Tails Collector Edition. Sorry, the boxes are really tall here. But uh, logo right there. It's getting 14 points of articulation. And then it has all the number of accessories you're getting. So you can see Tails figure with the stand, which is pretty cool. All the accessories right here. And then, yeah, that is pretty much that. But of course, the cool thing about this figure is probably when you open it. And as you can see, we can see a beautiful shot of the Tails figure. And then the Green Hill Zone uh, background around the package in here so you can see Sonic with the rings looks like Tails about to run through the loop and I really like how the stand is like matching the background right here so you got the stand like the checkerboard you know to the bottom and then the grass which is really cool and it's a little hard to see I don't know if you can see it but the there is like a green hill zone uh, background inside uh, the packaging right here so yeah, that is really, really cool, guys. And then, of course, there's the ring right there. But with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack the Tails figure and the accessories along with the stand out of the packaging and take a closer look. All right, so here's the figure out of the packaging right here. Now, the figure is nearly five inches tall, so I'll compare it with the four-inch Tails figure right here. So you can see the height difference right there. And then let's actually compare it with some other collector's edition figures. So here it is with the modern Sonic. And geez, I forgot how thick they made his arms. But that is where Tails is scaling here. And then for the classic Sonic, it's not going to be the best. Uh, classic Sonic is humongous. Uh, so yeah, he is going to be shorter than the classic Sonic figure right there. So just keep that in mind. But now on to the figure. So I will say the paint job on this figure is really, really, really good. Especially where the eyes is, which I'm really happy about. It looks like they are centered where the sculpt is. Because sometimes that tends to happen with the 4-inch figures. You'll probably see like a gap between these. Uh, like usually to the edge here or the paint be a little bit sloppy. But here it's looking really, really good. The paint is painted really nicely with the mouth as well. Um, it looks a little weird because you got like this white part. I think it would have been better if it was red because it's like red all around here and it's like white here. Unless that's supposed to be the teeth. I don't, I don't know. But it does look a little weird. Um, the mouth is painted really well. They're all A lot of the accessories are painted pretty well. Like the hands and eyes that will we'll go through. Except for one. But everywhere else is pretty good. The ears. It's a little messy right here. At least it's not going to be the best right there. But coming down to the torso, which I actually want to point this out. So it looks like the arms, the legs, and then the tail are the same color. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bright here. But it does look like the arms, legs, and tail are the same color. But the torso and then the head are like a lighter orange. That's what it's looking like to me. They're actually about the same color as like the joints. Like with the knees and then the legs. You guys can kind of see that but it is actually a different color uh, for the tails the sculpt is pretty nice here too this is actually a separate piece where the white is and I think it looks pretty well I think it looks pretty well done um, you know you'll probably see some weird 
gapage between there but the shoes look really really clean you got some details at the bottom of the shoe right here and of course the peg holes because you can um, put it on the stand everything looks pretty good so far it is going to look a little weird with the head because there is like a ball hinge right here so it's going to look a little weird because tails is like head it's like up and you kind of get in that so that's going to look a little weird of the figure and there's no way to really like push it down because the head isn't really interchangeable it's just the the mouths and then the eyes right here um yeah and you know you can see a little bit of a gapage between the eyes with the mouse um right here which looks a little weird so you can kind of see that but i think the tails figure looks pretty well done it's very very clean with the paint it's just the miscolor of the torso and then the head with the arms legs and then the tails now for the articulation like i mentioned there is a ball hinge so you can have tails look down and then up pretty well but again, it does look weird because you can just just out in the open like that. So I would just kind of leave it like that. Uh, you are just getting your basic swivel to the head. So there is that. For the arms, uh, they can move, but you're not really going to be able to really move them all the way back as much if you want. And it's going to hit the tails regardless. So let me just put that back. Hinge to the shoulder. Let me actually move. Yeah, hinge to the shoulders about here. You are getting your single jointed elbows, which, hold on, okay, there you go. Single jointed elbows, and then you get a swivel, and then you get a swivel to the wrist. And, you know, they are just on a, uh, a little peg because, you know, you can't interchange the hands. So there's that. Uh, nothing going on with the torso uh, for the legs. Tails kicks up about here, and then back about here. You can probably probably be able to do it a bit more just to move the tails a little bit uh, turn the leg to the side if you want and then your single joint and knees probably the weakest part of the articulation the knees isn't really that great I feel like it's gonna snap and I don't wanna it just it's the knees just look really ugly so I don't wanna do anything with that uh, and then the, the feet is really just on a swivel um, and then you know there is like again it's just on a small peg the tails they do move but they also rotate but it's 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 gonna pop off super easily if, if I try to rotate it and not only that but even if I do it's gonna hit the head even if I hinge the the, uh, the head forward it's still gonna hit the head you gotta like maneuver if you wanted to twist but it's gonna pop off and even when I hinge the tails there's a gap between here which is annoying it doesn't stay on there it isn't really yeah it just doesn't really want to stay onto the peg as much when I move it so it's it's like it's no point in me really moving I would just kind of leave it like this now as far as accessories goes you are getting two interchangeable fists and two interchangeable open hands for the other accessories you're getting like a I guess like a smiling face and then a sad face really or like a worried sort of face and then for the eyes you're getting one where it's like halfway closed and then it's fully closed and then for the tails, you're getting like your relaxed tails and then the spinning effect tails. And then, of course, uh, the ring, which I will show right here. So you're getting this ring. There is a peg right here that you can plug into the, um, the stand. And you can have tails hold on to it right here. So let me just, yeah. It doesn't really, it doesn't not, yeah, it just doesn't want to stay on. Okay, there you go, I have it. But it will tend to slide off a couple of times. And then, you know, of course, the other interchangeable stuff is already on the figure, like, you know, your gripping hands, uh, you know, that expression, and, and then those eyes right there, and then along with these set of tails. Now, for the base, let me actually show this part. So, here's the base right here. Of course, this part is a separate piece, and it does have that holographic effect, which, if you guys are familiar with how that is, along with this side, and then on the other side. And that's about it. It's not on this part. It's not on this part and then there's nothing here which you know I hate that it's not here because um, this part right here is holographic so you can see the changes right there and when you plug it on to the stand it looks a little off because you guys know that the modern one had the holographic to the, the like this part right here and it matched this part and it just looks very plain I think classic Sonic was the same thing with the Studiopolis playset where there was nothing here or playset the stand where there was nothing here but then you had like the holographic uh background 
So you're not, you're not really going to get that with tails. And yeah, I would have preferred like maybe some grass details here or like a, just a continued like grass pattern here, but like holographic as well, like something, you know. But yeah, it is going to be plain and then you can have the figure, um, you know, um, on the, the stand right here. And then you can peg them on there if you want, along with the ring. So you can just peg it right here. And there you go. There is your tails figure with the base. So now that we got that out the way, let's go over the uh, accessories here. So uh, let me do the tails because the tails is probably my least favorite here. So these, these tails right here are okay. Like I said, I do hate how you can't spin it as much without that popping off or you have to maneuver the head a little bit. So let me take these tails off. Here's the relaxed tails right here. So you kind of just get that here. Just plug it to the back part. It's going to be very, very tough. But uh, all right, there you go. Now, what I don't like about this is I don't know why they didn't do the same part for uh, like these. Because like they made this part super thick. And it looks like just really odd here. It just doesn't look that great. And that's as far as it's going. You know, that yeah, that's as much as it's going right there. It, and you know it still gets your hinge you can still rotate the tails but it seems like even when i rotate it it tends to get loose and it wants to pop off but that part i don't know why they made that part really thick because the rest of these are like really thin and it looks a little bit better on the figure so it's just a little weird like that the tails um well, i would say tails has a hard time standing a couple of times because of the tails unless you let me actually let me use the base this time it's a lot better uh yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to have them stand a little bit here um the tail let me see if i hinge it down yeah he still has a hard time standing a couple of times so i, I don't know but that part just looks weird now these tails right here oh, jesus christ this is horrible because first of all it looks like it's not really like fully painted the white is very sloppy in some parts uh the tails is i wish the tails were a bit more saturated let me actually plug it on to the figure right here and like look how wide it is you can barely even see tails and you know it doesn't really fully match how the figure looks like the color is way different and it's very very like heavy so if you want it, you can't, you know, you're, I mean, you're not really supposed to have tails stand while he's like this. But, you know, I guess you can try to clamp him to where it looks like he's flying. But it just doesn't look that great. I don't know. And it's not really like a perfect circle here because it looks like, it looks like it's okay around here. But then a little bit down here, it looks like it tends to kind of curve a bit more. I don't know. I just I'm just not really a fan of this piece really it doesn't even look like like how it looks in the package in here uh, let me just grab this here but that looks a lot better see what I mean yeah it just just doesn't really look that great now for the um, the the mouths and then the eyes it's pretty simple you just kind of slide this back I know it's gonna look a little weird um, and then if you want to interchange the eyes you kind of just uh, let me see. Try to take it from this part. Jesus, I cannot get these eyes out. Okay, so we got the eyes out. That's the face. And then you just plug in. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll plug in these eyes. And then we'll just plug in, I guess, like these mouths right here. And is it fully on? Hold on. Okay. Okay, yeah. I think it's, I think it's fully on the, the figure. All right. So there you go. That's how you interchange, uh, you know, the, the mouths and then the eyes. And then for the hands, of course, you just pop it off. Okay, so here's the open hand here on the Tails figure. I do apologize. I had to do it off camera right there because the hand was on the peg there really, really tight. But that is basically how you interchange your parts right there. So you pop the hand off and then, you know, the, the mouths, the eyes, and then the tails. And that's pretty much the accessories right there. There's not really a lot to offer for this figure there's not a lot of accessories that i was expecting i mean i didn't you know i guess maybe there wasn't a lot they could have gave tails but maybe you know a chaos emerald or maybe some gadgets or, or something i think would have been pretty cool i think the tails could have been a little bit better here but at least with this one you know i'm able to have the figure stand okay 
uh, or unless maybe is this on the ground? I just dropped the ring. Yeah, this one's actually okay. The rest is gonna have them like fall back, unless you want to like peg them onto the stand. But um, you know, I, I think it's just uh, you know, I think some some things could have been better here and there. But I will say the tails figure, let alone, is actually pretty great. I, I do like it. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this review on the Jack Specific Modern Tales Collector's Edition figure. I think this figure looks really good. The paint job is pretty clean in most areas. The sculpt is actually pretty decent. He's not too tall or his arms or legs aren't too big either. The hinge for the neck wasn't really needed to be honest. Like it does throw the figure off a little bit, but I guess it's still cool that they added in anyway. I just wish the tails performed a little bit better. It's cool that they're on a ball joint and that you're able to rotate them around and interchange them. He can't really stand well with them unless you put him on the stand or try to balance him out. And speaking of the stand, I still can't seem to get both feet on the pegs with these figures because they have it diagonal. I don't know why they still do that when the holes at the bottom of their shoes are centered. So it doesn't even match the peg's position on the stand. And because of that, I can only do basic posing with these figures. So there's not a lot I can really do with the stand. It's technically just a display piece really. Plus the tails sometimes like to hit the back of the wall piece of the stand. So it's a bit annoying trying to maneuver it. But those are my only issues with it. I think it's still pretty cool seeing Tails brought into the collector's edition lineup and I'm looking forward to seeing who else they're going to bring in next. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts on this figure in the comments down below and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Take care my friends.